I don't like C style casts, unless you have one very obscure use case. Um, and where's a laser pointer gun? Is it working? Brilliant. So, the dangers of C style casts. So, I'm going to lead by example here. So, here's some code. Looks fairly innocent. Now, who thinks this will compile? About half of you. Okay, it will, and you won't even get a warning for it. But if you were to use the variable y, then you'd be into the wonderful land of undefined behavior. So we certainly do not want this. Um, and this is down to the use of a C-style cast. Take this, for example. All I've done is change it to a static cast. Who thinks this will compile? Absolutely nobody. <laughs> and they're correct. So you've just avoided undefined behavior here simply by using a static cast and being a bit more specific about what you want. So another example. We've got a forward declared struct, T. We've got a const float. Who thinks that will compile? Relatively few of you. Well, sadly, it will. I mean, we don't even have the definition of T at this point, but it will still compile. It will throw away the constants and will be into undefined behavior once again. Um, nobody wants this, right? <laughs> so if we should just use a static cast instead, you think this will compile? Nobody, and you're correct. So once again, we've been saved by using a static cast in this case, um, instead of using a C-style cast where we could have these silent little errors. And in fact, I've seen this causing bugs in production code. I won't name the company, but it does happen. It's not just contrived. So what's going on? You know, why does that code compile? Why does it even work? So quote from the standard. And I've paraphrased slightly to, so it makes sense out of context. So the first thing a C style cast is going to try is a const cast. I mean, we're already into dangerous territory here. We don't, we don't generally want this. But if a const cast can't be used in the scenario, we've used a C style cast, we'll get a static cast. It's normally what people want when they're doing a cast, um, with an asterisk, which I'll explain later. It'll then try a static cast followed by a const cast. So it's, you know, it's going to desperately try to do whatever you ask. It's, it's like, it's trust the programmer. They clearly know what they're doing. We never make mistakes, right? And um, if that fails, it'll try a reinterpret cast. It just it keeps getting worse. It doesn't get any better. OK? And if that fails, it'll try a reinterpret cast followed by a const cast. So it just keeps falling down and down. And I've only ever needed the latter once ever. And it wasn't the nicest bit of code. So generally speaking, we want the, the static cast. Yeah. So now I'll explain what, what, what's going on with that asterisk. Well, uh, when you're doing a C style cast, when it hits the static cast parts, it can do a little more than a static cast. It can do this. And now I'm not going to explain all of that you, you can take it as your own reading. It's in the standard. But if you've got a private base class and you want to cast to a point of that type, generally speaking, you can get away with it with a C-style cast. That is the only time you should ever be using these C-style casts. And if you need to do this anyway, you should probably rethink your code in the first place. So that's my presentation. Please stop using C-style casts and use the C, uh, C++ cast that you meant. Thank you.